Welcome to Nuka World, America's favorite vacation destination. I'm Cappy. Yeah. Oh, and I'm Bottle. And we're here to make sure you have F-U-N fun during your time at the park. A vacation that yeah. yeah. a trip you won't forget. A park with every minimum acceptable safety standard that quench your thirst for adventure and Nuka Hey, you're here because you are our Fallout 4 resident expert here sure. at GameSpot.com. And it turns out they have uh, put out a new piece of DLC, Nuka World. And yeah. You play some this morning? I did. I live streamed it. Cool. GameSpot.com. Uh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I actually, um, compared to the last one, Far Harbor. Yes. Uh, they kind of went all out on this new um, setting. The Nuka World theme park, Disneyland esque. Okay, so this is a a. It's like the Slurms McKenzie of the Fallout world. It is a theme park based around their Coca Cola. Nuka Cola. So yeah. what is it like? What is it? How big is the? Where is it in the map? It's how big huge. is it? Uh, is it in the existing map, or do you have to like? Go no, there? it's it's so it's in similar fashion with all their DLC. Um, you start by uh, checking your radio, or okay. yeah, you find you know you basically get then a um, quest which points you into like in this case it was the Nuka World like tram ride that takes you off map. Oh, cool! Uh, similar to Far Harbor, you get on a boat, right? Um, and this time it's it's just chaotic. This whole. <laughs> This whole uh, new map. So it's like a theme park that's like built out in the middle of nowhere almost. You take like a train to it. Yeah. Like I guess most theme parks are. Yeah. And then it's just like, what? Just totally effed up. Yeah. It's, you know, as Fallout fashion, it's just completely run down. Um, and this time around, things, I guess, are a little different. Again, I, you know, it's funny. It actually took so long just to get going in the new map. Yeah. They have like this huge... I was looking at the chat. Some guy was saying he was watching some other guy. It took him like three hours just to get through this crazy trap-filled um, maze where like you t- every corner. I'm, I'm this live stream was kind of fun. I was screaming because <laughs> there's one room, for instance, where uh, you know you you enter and there's a guy on the speakerphone who's just kind of making fun of you the whole time. Yeah. And, and there are te- basically to also set it up. There are I guess three raider factions that um, are diverse and they all kind of are fighting for power of the entire theme park. This is, I just love the concept of this already. Yeah. This is so stupid. And so each raider faction is just a group of just assholes. <laughs> the warriors of Coney Island kind of. Yeah, 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 very much so. And So are you like trying to make your way through this like fun house of death on the way in or something? It's like they've set up all these traps for you to like... Yeah. Oh my god. And so it's it's kind of a cool premise where they uh, the radio even you find out. Um, I mean, this is kind of spoilery, but whatever. It's don't it's, get too spoilery. You're just you're you're lured there, and yeah. it it turns out that all the raiders there uh, are just trying to kill people and lure them there, <laughs> just to, like loot them. Yeah. And they're all just real pieces of shit. You basically like kick off and and they're doing like a gladiator styled. You find yourself basically in this ring against a guy with a power armor who's like jacked up on like electricity <laughs> right. and you're just, you know, they immediately take away your companion. So my robot Ada is not there and I'm just getting my ass kicked yeah. by this guy. God, Ada's so good. Uh, Ada is yeah. like the ultimate. I got a, the I, best I, hack that game oh, could ever have. Oh my God. She's so great. Uh, <laughs> she's got a ninja blade on one arm and a, and a Gatling on the other. And I, so often she just resolves fights. Like, oh, th- yeah. thanks, baby. She's got range <laughs> and melee sorted. Yeah. It's great. So yeah, you, you customize her, obviously. So, from so, the, so in the area, is there like new weapons? Are there new enemies? Yep. Are there new, like what's going on? Uh, new enemies. Uh, one of the first things I got attacked by was a uh, flying ant swarm. Okay. So those are cool. Uh, I can't think of any other animals offhand. Uh, new weapons. They cut, so they right off the bat they introduce a um, squirt gun, a Nuka Cola squirt gun. It has okay. a cool animation of you basically. You know, it, it is fueled by Nuka Cola. Just pour some in. Yeah, you, it's pretty cool. You pull it in, and um, against this um, boss, I was telling you is you know the idea is that you take away his electric shield in order to basically then do damage on him. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm with the Nuka Cola. With this weapon, yeah, because it's Nuka-Cola. water. Yeah. It's water, yeah. so it fries him, and then you can do damage. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's another weapon I use. It's just like a machine gun, but I'm sure there's other ones. I saw one in the trailer. It's a um, what do you call that toy with the uh, rubber ball? Oh, um, like a like a p- paddle paddle. Yeah, the, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the ball, the, string, the paddle, elastic yeah. string. Anyways, the trailer showed it being a. Um, I don't know what's on it, but it's <laughs> you basically have different types of ammo. You can flick these balls at people <laughs> that are like loaded with electricity or uh, plasma or something okay. like that. I haven't gone that yet, but. Um, 
yeah, I imagine this pistol you can like mod uh, and to do different things. I think I would imagine maybe, um, you know, like quantum cola will have a different effect. Right, on the weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll freeze or something like that. Opposed oh to gosh. right now, it's just the vanilla water. Um, but anyways, what I'm really getting a kick out of is the map itself. Like when you compare it to Far Harbor, when you get there, it's like what are, what are the gimmicks of that island? Well, it's yeah. foggy as fuck. Yeah, that's and that's, a gimmick. Yeah. that's about it. And yeah. even that frame rate was chugging. Here you have, there are different areas. Like you, you're forced to kind of look at like a um, the map layout of of the park and go, oh, where do I want to go next? So right, yeah. I just finished um, or most of it doing what's called kitty. What was it called? Kitty something. Right. Uh, basically, this is the child. Uh, a child, yeah, a child. like to infants area right. of the park. Yeah, and it's it's just so funny. Like it's a very funny DLC. It, it, the whole thing is just infested. This area is infested with ghouls. Right. Uh, and there are insane um, areas of just ra radiation where it's mm. like twenty. You take twenty rads a second. So right. like, I'm playing a, a squirt gun game and which actually spits out tickets in the end. You take yeah. tickets and I imagine you get like a you know you buy a weapon or something like that later on. Yeah. Just um, like that school. You get your purple paste out of your... Exactly. <laughs> and uh, anyways, you know, you're just playing these little mini games as like, I'm getting taken rads or like a ghoul will come out of it somewhere. It's like really just like... It's like a good juxtaposition between like... Totally. Yeah, like this dumb... Um, yeah. It is yeah, like and fairly open, right? It's not... You could do this in any order you want. Yeah, like you for, Fallout Four in general. Yeah, in general, yeah. So like in the kind of the main market hub, <laughs> this as, whole situation. This is so watching funny. visually. Yeah. yeah. So this is cool. This is so then the, then I get into the kid fun house and it's this type of stuff. Um, you know, just uh, perspectives changing or mm. like there's one area it was called like a radiation like uh, um, spinning uh, <laughs> map where like it you earlier you hack a computer to turn off the nausea <laughs> mode or something like that. <laughs> Uh, oh, this was hilarious. <laughs> I see all these guys and I just close the door. So it's like a rotating uh, yeah, map. But all the, yeah, so it's like, imagine like the dumb things you do in fairy in like, in, I guess, Adventureland places, but with like zombies on them who are just stupid as hell. Right. And God, this one was really funny. So each, as you, you'll see in the gameplay, as you uh, go around the spinning room, each door has like a little funny gimmick. Like I open one and I get in and it's immediately just rad spray in my face <laughs> <laughs> or like another one. It's, um, a per, one of those perspectives, uh, illusions where it looks like a really long hallway. The closer you get, it's actually just um, smaller, smaller. Yeah. It, it raises. Right. And it's just, it ends up being not a large yeah. room. It sounds like Kevin McAllister just set up all this shit for you to come. Totally. This is great. To make it's, it's, way through. it's really fun. And so that's the, the, the plus of this is I feel like for even the price, uh, which I forget, I think a lot of these are what, like mm -hmm. 10 bucks. But, uh, so far, this is just one little section, and I spent um, probably a good hour and a half here. Cool, twenty and, bucks, yeah. And oh, twenty bucks, so that's pretty fat, yeah. Um, it, there's a lot going on. Like, I mean, it's just from hearing you describe it, it already sounds like a million times more visually interesting and mechanically interesting than Far Harbor was. Yeah, like, absolutely. It seems like densely packed with mm -hmm. crazy little things, and like the Fallout stuff. I guess like it's one of the more interesting parts of it is the, all the like references to actual like life and culture, and like theme parks are so dense with that sort of stuff that I guess it's like this perfect playground for them to just like have fun with that stuff, I guess. Yeah, and you could just tell the the crafting of uh, every room feels like someone has like gone out of their way to make it hell for you. Like okay. in the intro, <laughs> in the intro, uh, and, and it's difficult, right? I think um, John Luke was even saying, and I didn't know this because mm. I'm like level like 53 or something like that. Um, I guess you had to be level 30 in order to enter. Oh, right, really? Um, you must so be this high to enter the theme park. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and, and, I, and I'm, yeah, exactly. That's funny. That's a good one. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And uh, I see, uh, I see guys with like skulls next to their head. I haven't seen those in a while. Oh, right. And, and of course. Just waiting. They're yeah. really high level. And sure enough, I'm using mini nukes plural to take them down. <laughs> um, God. So it's fun. And I think, um, I think if you, if you like Fallout, you had a good time with it. I think this is definitely something to uh, look into. Like Excellent. it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm excited. To, to be, I mean, I actually didn't even finish Far Harbor. I couldn't put myself to do it. Right, um, yeah. Like I, I just got bored. Um, this is something where it's like, oh, I can't wait to like go in this room. Uh, you know, they, they do really funny things where like I, I got a, there's a really thin, creaky uh, setup of boards and below is just like this pit of radiation where I know I'm going to be there for some reason. Yeah. Sure enough, I open the door, like think I'm all scot-free or whatever and then the boards all break and then Mirelurks come out <laughs> and a guy in here comes like, ooh, Mirelurks! <laughs> he's like, oh God, and I just die immediately. It's That's great. funny. It's cool. Oh, here's a really good room. That was so <laughs> funny and on the stream I was just laughing my ass off. Uh, you go in a room and gas, did I, did I mention this right? No, gas so comes me. in and um, 
you're choking because there's gas. Mm. And so and then all these rad roaches come up. So now I'm shooting these. And then right away, the whole room ignites in flames <laughs> because of my gunfire is setting all the gas right, off. Yeah. So immediately they're forcing you to use melee weapons. I got none. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm punching these guys. And then I get to one rad, legendary rad roach who uh, <laughs> is a big one. And I kill it. And then I'm like, oh, okay, great. And then it just explodes and babies come out and I'm like oh shit <laughs> so we shoot it again and it just flames so it goes up in flames <laughs> yeah. again it's He's really like a 10 fun. second memory yeah, 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 yeah exactly yeah. you just forget in That's panic great. situations which is what you know clearly what they're trying to uh, yeah, do yeah, to you do that, which yeah. is like clever that's so cool. All right. Yeah. That's Fallout 4 Nuka World out today for $20 um, on your platform of choice. I'm really looking forward to uh, to seeing that. And if you want more, uh, see more of that, Rob's stream should be live on GameSpot.com right now and on YouTube uh, pretty soon, I imagine. 